good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. We are back today with another WWE Elite set review on the WWE Elite SummerSlam 2022-2005 Build-A-Figure Dominic Mysterio Wave. Now, I am super excited for this set. I've been waiting on this set for a little bit now. Since WrestleMania Access, I think, is when they showed this off, and it's already in our hands, so that is awesome, man. It only took a couple months, and, and, and here we are. It's in the flesh. It's in the plastic. Super excited to dive into it, man. Before we get started, if you guys would like to grab this wave, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, but this wave is stacked, man. We've been begging for Ruthless Aggression era figures for a long time, and, and finally, I'm, I'm kind of glad they put it off, because now we get Ruthless Aggression figures with double jointed arms. So look at that. They delayed the Ruthless Aggression figures until they were the best they could ever be, man, and now we are just reaping all of the benefits of all these beautiful Ruthless Aggression figures, but here's the wave. Shawn Michaels, Randy Orton, Rey Mysterio, and Sensational Sherry. We have a lot of great comparisons we're gonna do. We're gonna build the Dominic Mysterio kid figure in this deal. Got a lot of comparisons to make. We're going to go through all of the figures in this set, build the Dominic Mysterio, review him as well, and just take you guys through the full deal here. But let's go ahead and take a look at this packaging, man. Starting off first, we do have Shawn Michaels. Good Lord in heaven. What a beautiful looking figure, man. I love the packaging. You guys can see you got all this orange and blue going on. Shawn Michaels down here. You got Elite Logos up here. WWE logo. Certified Authentic, the name over there. On the back, you do get a beautiful image of the character, some bio read. And then you got this right here. If you'd like to read it, you can pause it now. Rest of the figures in the wave and Shawn Michaels comes with the arms of Dominic Mysterio. There's a little kid Dom right there looking cool. But man, we have been waiting on this, man. This is a SummerSlam 2005 Shawn Michaels. Next up in the set, we do have my man Randy Orton. This matchup actually made me cry as a kid. Chris Benoit was my favorite wrestler. He went one-on-one -on -one with Randy Orton at SummerSlam 2004. This is a gear I've been waiting on for a long time. He's got the World Heavyweight Championship there. He comes with Dominic's torso and his shirt, it looks like. But you got a beautiful image of Orton there, there. SummerSlam logo. Beautiful images there. You got a little bio read on the back. That is not correct. It was not SummerSlam 2005. The youngest member of Evolution became the youngest WWE champion in history at SummerSlam 05. Not true, Brad. Not true. There's another shot of it, but yeah, this figure's beautiful, man. Look at that right there. He captured the title and made me cry. Hate to see it. Now he's one of my favorites of all time. Weird how that works. Next up is Rey Mysterio in the beautiful blue gear. Look at that, man. How beautiful. He comes with Dominic's head. He's even got his contract there from the infamous ladder match. Shot of Rey there. Little bio read there. Nice stuff going on. He comes with his head of his son, which is so funny. Look at that in the packaging, man. I may have to get one of these mocked just because of how funny that is. And last but not least, we have Sensational Sherry. Now, I'm excited for this figure. I think all the stuff they got going on with this figure is super underrated. We're going to dive into all the details, man, but she does come with Dominic's legs. And there's a shot of Sherry. You got Sherry. You got Sherry. Stuff on the back there. Yeah, man, we're going to get into it, man. But anyways, let's go ahead and crack all these guys out of their packaging and find out what this SummerSlam Build-A-Figure wave is all about and see what Dominic Mysterio's kid figure is all about. All right, guys, so here's our full SummerSlam Elite Wave 2022 out of their packaging, of course, spinning round and round. And I'm liking what I'm seeing so far out of these figures. Again, they're kind of nostalgic for me, right? I grew up with the Ruthless Aggression era, and all of these figures hit me right in the feels, man. I'm, I'm liking all of them. I think a lot of them are great. I think this is, I mean, without even getting into the details, I think this is the best SummerSlam Wave we've ever seen before. And I know the figures are getting better and better. The details are better and better. You know, price point has increased, things of that nature that have, you know, kind of contributed to the quality of the figures being being better but at the same time man these figures are outstanding so far and we got to dive into the details we're going to get through all of it of course but what we're going to do is just run through each superstar and their accessories one by one build dominic and review him of course so we're going to treat it like a typical review we're going to do it just like we do our other reviews and break each figure down one by one and then at the end we will build dominic review him and take a closer look at his figure so with all that being said man let's dive into these accessories and get our review started so we're going to start things off with Rey mysterio's accessories and for Rey mysterio you actually don't get a whole lot. I mean, with this whole wave, you don't get a whole ton of accessories, but he does come with this sweet briefcase, which I guess is technically a contract. You guys know the the infamous ladder match at SummerSlam 05. Rey Mysterio saved his son Dominic from the dastardly Eddie Guerrero in a legendary ladder match, according to the packaging, but there's no contract in here. My god, is it sealed with effing glue? Like, what is this? Anyways, it opens up. You guys can put a contract in there, but it is just, you know, a black briefcase. Remember the match well? All I remember is Eddie Guerrero just losing his mind about Vicky missing her spot and Dominic being terrified in the front row. But I think this is suitable. I don't think it's completely accurate because it was like a leather briefcase, I think. But, you know, I'm not going to pick on that. You know, we've seen this briefcase before with multiple characters, but it's cool. It's matte black color. Then this is where my issues come in. They give him the regular Rey Mysterio fisted gloved hands right here, and they are in black, which is accurate. However, his other hands are mic holding hands, but they're normal sized hands. These are like Seth Rollins sized hands. So instead of giving him the wide open, like typical Rey Mysterio hands that we see with all the Rey figures, they gave him regular sized hands 
hands, which looks so odd. It's because this figure, every time they give this figure, this specific body mold, they always give him these hands. They've done that multiple times instead of giving him the regular hands. Now, we've gotten so many of those wide open hands, it'd be really easy to plug them in, but it is definitely noticeable and it's something to talk about, man. I, it's like it, the figures just come with like default settings and they must go with the default settings. So diving into Rey Mysterio himself, man, this head sculpt is one we've seen for a long time now. They've used this head sculpt on countless Rey Mysterios, especially on this body mold with the long pants or the baggy pants and the shirt mold. They always use this head sculpt. We pretty much have a re-release, just repainted and has double jointed arms, which I'm all for. I think this is a great iconic gear. I like the gear. I think it looks great in figure form. Rey Mysterio is very toyetic. I just don't like this head. I never have. I just thought it's very weird. I'd like to see a new throwback Rey Mysterio. I do have a little bit of paint chip there on the mask, but I like the colors. I think the dark blue looks good. It looks accurate. You know, this white isn't supposed to be really white. It's supposed to be like more of an iridescent. Same thing with the 619 here, but it's not huge. I do have a little titty mark right there, but ab crunch is a little bit loose there, but I do like the light blue elbow pads. You have all your great tattoos here. I do like this on the back of the neck. I noticed they have the tattoo right there at the top with the cross, which is really sweet. I went ahead and put these gloved hands in here just to, you know, just to see what it looked like, and it looks really good. I'm glad I did that, but waist feels nice. You do get nice wrinkles here. Really wish we would have gotten some of this like wrinkle detail on his newest Elite. You know, the Batman top picks, but you do have the nice cross graphic going down in white and black. You got the 619, the bold letters, which looks really cool. Bold letters, bold numbers, you dumb moron. He does have his white shoes, which look clean. This is a really nice figure, man. I actually like it a lot. It's just a really fun figure, man. You can really pose it around. Articulation, I mean, like, it's, it's not much to get into. The app crunch again is a little bit loose there, but we've had this figure a lot. You know, he can he's on ball joints, by the way. He's got a good double joint knee. He feels really good in the hand, which is, is nice. This is definitely the best figure probably on this body mold that we've seen just because of the double jointed arms. But yeah, it's a really fun figure to pose around. I'm really enjoying it so far. It's got a good base to it. Just wow. Just incredible. Well, let's get into some Rey Mysterio Elite figure comparisons. So here's the new SummerSlam Elite Rey Mysterio up next to the Elite 24 over here and then the Elite 21 over there. And you guys can see I'm comparing it because it has the baggy pants with the t-shirt mold. And it's the same exact thing except it does have double jointed arms, which, you know, works out well. But they all scale well. They all look nice up next to each other and everything like that. They have the same exact. I did put black sleeves on this guy just for a fix up, but we also have his most recent elite that we just got, which also has double jointed arms, and that is going to be the new top picks. You guys can just see the comparison here. So he stands a little bit tall. I mean, they're pretty damn even when you include the mohawk, but yeah, I just feel like, like, dude, just look how much different. I feel like maybe his new figures are maybe a little bit small. You know, they don't really include his girth in those figures. They make him really tiny, but at the same time, I still think it works. It looks good. I love all the Rey Mysterio figures. They look really nice up next to each other. And now we have a great comparison because this is actually the attires that these guys wore in the ladder match. So now we have all three members, the briefcase, and we have plenty of ladders to run this match back. So we do have Rey Mysterio from that match and Eddie Guerrero from this match. It's the same exact gear that he wore there, so that's pretty cool. We will take a look at Dominic with these two figures as well at the end of the video. So diving into Randy Orton's accessories, he comes with two pairs of interchangeable hands and a beautiful World Heavyweight Championship that I wish WWE would bring back. We've seen this championship a million times. We're not going to go into it with a ton of detail because we've seen it, but they always leave off the side jewels, man. I don't know what it is. It's always left off. For whatever reason, man, they love leaving off those side jewels, but you do have the red diamonds going around the thing, and yeah, we've seen this before. It's still beautiful. And then, of course, he does come with interchangeable hands. You have your Mike Holding hands, which look good, good skin tone. He didn't wear the hand tape around this time. He was not rocking that just yet. So you have Mike Holding hands, and then you gotta have your signature legend killer up on the turnbuckle posing Randy Orton hands. And typically, this is actually a good RKO like grabbing hand. You know, you can like grasp their skull and pull it down to the floor. So that's nice for that too. So getting into Randy Orton, man, kind of a repaint right? Like, we've seen this before. This is our first Legend Killer double-jointed arm Randy Orton, which I love. You know, Randy Orton's one of my favorites of all time. You know, it's hard to get away from this head sculpt. We've seen this head sculpt a lot, man. Like, I mean, we have seen this head sculpt a lot, but it does look just like him. I mean, I don't really know what you want me to say, because it looks just like him. Really hard to go away from it. I think I'd like to see a freak-out face or an angry face instead of just, like, this smirky or just straight face. I think it'd be cool to see an Ultimate Edition Legend Killer Orton in Backlash gear with, like, some accessories and a smirking head, a yelling head. I think that'd be cool. But at the same time, it's a great head sculpt. I love the formula they use for Randy Orton. You got the big arms on there. They could be bigger. I'll be honest with you. They could be bigger, but it's all good. You get the vein in there, the tattoos, the tribal tats before he got all sleeved up. He looks really good. Now, this is my biggest gripe with this figure, man. These trunks just simply are not accurate, man. They are not accurate. I, I don't care what anybody says. They're not accurate. They're like bright orange, but they were not bright orange, man. They were like a peachy color. They had peachy color in it. It was like a peachy-ish color. It was not this like bright orange orange Fanta looking color. It is kind of a lighter bright orange, but at the same time, man, it is not accurate. I want to say it was like, a gray, and it 
wasn't silver. It was gray. It was like peach, gray, and black. It was very sweet. I love the gear, but this is not accurate. It'll work, you know? I'm not gonna, like, completely lose my mind. I mean, I am a little bit, but you guys get the point. We are gonna do some comparisons to the basic back in the day, which I think was a more accurate color, but, uh, yeah, th that kind of bothers me, but at the same time, what are you gonna do? Yeah, it is what it is. You got the knee pads, and you got the standard black boots, which is good, but mainly, this is a dope legend killer Randy Orton, but let's get into some comparisons. So, for the Randy Orton figure comparisons, you have the SummerSlam one in the middle. This is the Elite 49 Randy Orton from WrestleMania against Undertaker. This was our first Legend Killer Randy Orton. Beautiful figure. I love this figure a lot. So much so that I bought five of them and I have customized one of them to be my SummerSlam 04 Orton. Now, BEW did this one on camera. It's coming across a lot more red than it actually is. Like, it definitely looks red here. However, in person, it does look a lot better. You also have the Decade of Domination Orton right here. I have two of these to have the long haircut and the short haircut, you know, trying to fit that vibe there. But you guys can see, we've seen this head sculpt three different occasions here pretty much. This one low-key looks better, honestly. It's got that, like, eyebrow raise. This, this one right here is actually the money. But here, you're probably wondering what this is. This is a random crowd member, and this is actually the basic that we got of these trunks way back in the day. And these are actually pretty accurate to what they're supposed to look like. They look a lot better. It's not coming across completely on camera, but maybe you guys can see the difference in these trunks. And it's not really coming across on camera, but I promise to God in person, they look completely different. Maybe I'll try to snag a picture to plug in. They look completely different holding them up next to each other. This one right here is a lot more peachy. It's a lot more accurate to the color. You can tell that there's a lot more like of a salmon color. And then this right here is just straight up bright orange. I don't know why you wouldn't just use this exact color that you use on this basic because it's still Mattel, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that is what it is. But uh, yeah, that, that is a comparison I had to make in this video. So for Shawn Michaels accessories, we do get some entrance gear and then we get some interchangeable hands. I don't know why I thought this figure came with like leg stuff as well, but it doesn't. At least I don't think it does, you know? But here we are, man. We do have the entrance gear right here, and this looks really good. I think it has fantastic sculpt on it. It's got some good details. You do have the white over the top with the black, and it mixes really well across designs going down. I think this works out. You know how we always complain about rubber accessories? I think in this spot, it actually works better that it is rubber accessories, and it's not cloth. I do love the cloth that they give us sometimes, but I think this works better. You know, it's got some texturing to it, and it doesn't hinder the articulation of the figure, which is nice. It does clasp on the side on both sides, so you can unclasp this side. Right there, you see the little ports. You can unport it there, and you can import it here, but I just did one side. I think one side's the way to go. That way you don't, you know, run into any problems with getting it back together. It actually goes back together pretty easy, but at the same time, I just don't want to uh, undo both. I feel like it could get messy. Now, for interchangeable hands, he does come with mic holding hands, which we've always seen, and then we have DX chop it slash entrance hands, you know, where he holds his hands out like so, and then, you know, the fire, ch 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 you get the point, the entrance hands. So for Shawn Michaels, man, we've seen this head sculpt a bunch now. I know a lot of people are getting sick of this head sculpt. We've seen it, you know, it's it's ran its course. It's the basic 100. We're coming up on Elite 100. I'd really like to see a new Shawn Michaels head, you know. I'd really like to see a new Shawn Michaels head, but this one really looks good on this figure. I like the 5 o'clock shadow. It's got good likeness to him. It's probably the best the basic 100's ever looked, to be honest with you. I think the hair looks good. I like it. I, you know, I, I like the head. I just think I, I'm ready for a change, you know. You know what I'm saying? Going down, you don't have any chest hair. Would have I think, a ch like, some chest hair and stomach hair would have really set this figure off. May have to do that on surgery or something, but you do actually have a colored tattoo outside of what we got with the last WrestleMania Lee, but you got the white wrist tape. This gear is sick as hell. Double jointed arms. This is the infamous, you know, Shawn Michaels overselling versus Hulk Hogan match. You got the black, white, and silver, which looks really clean. I remember seeing customs of this from Burnout Inc. and all kinds of dudes that used to kill this custom paint job, and now we finally have it from Mattel. Been waiting on this for, for a long time now, but it looks really good going all the way down. I think they did a fantastic job, and looking at this, this looks like the customs I used to see, so that's just wild, but going down, you do got the black pants down in the black and silver. Really sweet and clean. I would have liked to see him rock something similar to this. I know his WrestleMania 26 gear was similar with cream and like brown, but I think if this were black and this were white, like everything reversed, I think that would look really clean. But it's a nice looking figure, man. Now for your Shawn Michaels figure comparisons, here's all our different long pants Shawn Michaels. I am missing the Elite 7. I actually recently got this Elite 3 with a busted foot. I got for a hella deal on eBay. I'm going to replace the foot, but until then he is bum foot Elite 3 HBK there. But we have all our different long pants Shawns again outside of the Elite 7 and the Ruthless Aggression Elite that we are going to be getting very, very soon. But it's cool to see these all up next to each other. You guys can see that he's had the same exact head sculpt for so long outside of the Elite 100. And then I do have the WrestleMania 26 Sean with the basic 100 head on here. Now, he was clean shaven during this match, so I guess I could technically switch that head with the WrestleMania 25 or put that one on the Elite 3. I think that would make that really clean. I don't know. We'll play around with it, but here's a clean shaven basic 100 head on the WrestleMania 26 body. But it's cool to see all these. We've been waiting on long pants Sean's. I remember making countless 
Michaels fantasy list and want list with long pants Shawn Michaels. And now we have a lot of the attires that I've ever wanted. Sure, there's plenty more out there that they can make, but for the most part, man, we've gotten a lot of the good gears. And I'm sure, you know, before it's all said and done, Mattel is going to probably make all the different gears that we ever want of Shawn Michaels long pants. But all these look really sweet up next to each other, really growing the Shawn Michaels collection, which I've wanted to do for a long time. And it's really making me happy, man. Looks clean, looks terrific. But you have the Walgreens exclusive, the defining moments, WrestleMania 25, the SummerSlam Elite, the WrestleMania 26, WrestleMania 38 Elite, and then you have the Elite 3 over there. Cool stuff, man. Some of these need freaking chest and stomach hair, though. And last but not least, we have Sensational Sherry's accessories, and she literally comes with nothing, to be honest with you. She comes with interchangeable mic holding hands with no nail polish. I swear to God, that ain't accurate. There's no way Sensational Sherry didn't have nail polish on. I just don't believe that. I just don't believe in it. And then out of the packaging, she does come with fisted hands, which also don't have any nail polish, which we've seen both of these before, and they, they look good on the figure, so no complaints. So getting into Sensational Sherry, this is the most underrated figure, man. Like, the, 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 the amount of detail in the face paint, I think it looks just like Sherry, you know? I think they do a really good job there. You got the SS right there on the side there. Not completely accurate on the makeup or the or the blush, but it's not completely bad. You got the heart over there. Tons of great sculpts on here, man. Like, look at this. This is a rubber piece right here. You have some great sculpted stuff going on. A lot of this is all newly sculpted, man. Like, look at these sleeves right here. You got the holes right there. One thing that does bother me is the skin pegs. You know, they don't paint one side. I could easily just put some white paint on this side, but you do have that gold paint through there, the heart shapes, all the sculpt work, double jointed arms. I mean, this thing is crazy awesome, man. Going down to the torso and the crotch piece, you got those hearts sculpted on there. Now, I will be honest, pretty sure her butt was more exposed here. You know, I, I think that was the case during the matchup, but you know, they're not going to put that in there. They did do more than you expect to, but there are ours. So you can see the netting through there. You do have some nice sculpts coming through here. Like, dude, look at all that. That is all sculpted. It's not just painted on there. These legs are hand sculpted. You got double jointed knees there, which are great. Now, I will say her feet articulation is terrible with these short heels. Like, her feet can kick forward there, and then it kind of ends there. No ankle rocker, no rotation, but you do get a full thigh rotation, which is cool. But, dude, look at that right there, man. That is just insane. And then you do have, like, the copyrights and stuff had to go on the inner thigh, or the inner calves right there, because uh, there's no sp space on the bottom of the feet. We got the red laces. I mean, dude, this is just a crazy figure. It's absolutely insane. She's on ball joints. You do get double jointed, like I said. I mean, dude, what a crazy figure. I mean, like, I'm having a ton of fun with this figure. It's a, it's, it's honestly kind of a masterpiece. Like, I know a lot of people are going to talk about this figure this year, or at least, like, you're going to skip over it. It may shelf form, but you be missing out. This is a very nice figure. I may pick this up every time I see it, just for future customs and stuff. It's just a great piece, man. I mean, look at this. Like, she could just beat the hell out of you. I mean, this is awesome. Double joint. I mean, dude, the only problem I have is, like, the shoulder right here gets a bit loose, and you got to be careful folding it up because of the top piece right here. But biceps swivel. I mean, dude, what what a great piece. I'm I'm loving this figure. I think if you missed out on that, I mean, you'd have to build Dominic anyway. You'd have to buy it unless you bought the part separately. But I'm having a ton of fun with this Sensational Sherry. Now, for the <laughs> comparisons, I used to have her first Elite, but I think I sold it or traded it or something. But you do have Shawn Michaels here. Now, the ring set exclusive Shawn's a lot more accurate to what he wore at SummerSlam 1992. But this is the WrestleMania 10 figure, and it still looks good. These could still go together. You know, they, they, they're pretty, like, they match pretty well there and everything. But they, they look good up next to each other, so that's pretty cool right there. Look at that right there. That's that's awesome, man. But wish I had that ringside exclusive, Sean. Really need to get that. But used to have it. Always turned it into customs. I've had it twice, I think, but I always changed it and stuff. Uh, I was kind of just using him for parts, which I regret now, but that was way back in the day. So I would have... Uh, I definitely regret that, but these figures look really good up next to each other, and you could easily display this figure. This figure is going to stand out in your collection, man. All right, guys, so I know that we've covered every figure in the set. We are going to rank the set at the end as well, but I have to build this Dominic figure real quick and get a quick review of him in. Now, if you guys were wondering, the head does come with Rey Mysterio, the legs come with Sensational Sherry, the torso and shirt come with Randy Orton, and the arms come with Shawn Michaels. So, let's go ahead and build this guy. I'm really excited. I want to back it up a little bit here so we can get it all on camera, but connecting the pieces right here, popping that together, and then we got to slide the arm in this socket, plopping that in there, and then plopping this arm in there and then we plop the head sculpt on here seems like yesterday we were seeing the uh you know the render image for this guy and now he is finally here and then last but not least we have his hawaiian style shirt this on to the figure here does fit him kind of baggy there that's like the style of 2005 man I swear to jesus there's about 16 kids running around my elementary school looking like this on a daily so here is the full dominic man and this figure looks really good you know we're gonna do some scales and comparison as well but the figure moves fantastic man he's got those super articulated legs like oh my god this figure poses with the best of them he does have single 
double jointed arms, which is kind of a bummer. I'd like to see double jointed arms, but he still poses really nice, man. Like, oh my god, I like I feel like you could put on a five star classic with this figure going one on one with a lot of guys. And the first guy that comes to my mind, you guys probably already know where I'm going with this, but here it is, man. And I'm honestly kind of disappointed in the scale. They don't really scale the best. Yes, we have the negative one AEW unrivaled figure up next to our Dominic. And I think the Dominic is probably better scaled. Yeah, the Dominic's definitely better scaled, I think. Like, here's Ray, and he comes up to around his chest, and I think that was about accurate for the time. And I'm pretty sure negative one's 11, right? I think. And he comes up to, like, just above his belly button. But still, it's, it's still pretty crazy that we have, in the same year, months apart, we have two children as wrestling figures in our collection in the same year. Dominic Mysterio and negative one. Isn't that insane, man? Like, look at this right here. Now you can put on a, a classic. You can have a tag team match. They could easily, like, do war right here. I think the Dominic is better high quality. Like, I feel like this is so small that it's kind of dangerous to pose around, like, a ton. Like, I still think you can do it. I just think that you run the risk of breaking this figure. But the Mattel one right here, like, yeah, I don't think you're gonna have any issues with, like, plastic quality and stuff like that. I don't think you have a problem breaking this guy. I think this is a, is a really good piece. What a fantastic figure, man. Like, here's the head sculpt. Like, dude, just what a, what a cool figure. He kind of reminds me of, like, Tony Hawk's Underground 2 or something. Like, he just reminds me of, like, a like a skater character. Like, the way his proportions are, I don't know. So here's all the figures up next to each other so you guys can see the scaleage. And that looks good. If you go back and look at pictures, I mean, all three of these look pretty John Brown good together, man. I, th I think that looks good there. I, I'm, I'm liking what we see here. The Dominic figure is fantastic, dude. It poses around great, too. Like, oh my god, you gotta build the figure. You gotta get it all. I, I want more of this figure just for, I don't know, customization. Maybe I can, I don't know, make my son eventually, you know, one day when he turns 10 or 11 or however. I want to say Dominic was 10 in this match. Yeah, great figure. Alright, man, now it is time to rank the set from worst to best, and it's honestly very, very challenging. I honestly don't even know where the hell I'm gonna go with this. It's, it, like, I'm still on the fence about my choices, to be honest with you, because they all have double joint arms. They all feel fantastic in the hand. They all pose around well. They have some crazy sculpts going on. I mean, this is, uh, ha, this is, uh, good lord. I, d I do not know what the hell I'm gonna do. Because there's so many different factors. Because all of them have their faults, but at the same time, all of them have their stuff that's like, oh, damn, that's fire. This pains the hell out of me, but I think I, I have... Oh, my God. I, I feel like I gotta put Randy Orton at the bottom, right? Because, like, the orange isn't accurate. It's still a beautiful figure. I love Randy Orton to death. Double joint arms are sweet. But we've seen the head skull before. The trunks aren't accurate. And I feel like that's, like, the most important thing. And so I'm gonna go Randy Orton at the bottom. I'm gonna go... Oh, Jesus. All right, I'm gonna go Randy Orton at the bottom. I'm gonna go Rey Mysterio at number three. Head sculpt bothers me. Still a damn good figure, but that head sculpt really does bother me. It really, really does. I'm gonna go Sherry at two, and I'm gonna go Shawn Michaels at number one, I think. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Really hard ranking, though, man, because I honestly love all these figures, but, you know, somebody's gotta go at the bottom. Somebody's gotta go to number one. And, yeah, I think this is, yeah, I, yeah, I think I'm, I'm gonna ride with this one. I like this. Honestly, any given day, they could interchange, but, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that, but honestly, I think Dominic comes in at number one, right? Yeah, Dominic's number one. There you go. I'm, I'm more comfortable with this ranking. But I think that pretty much wraps up our WWE Elite SummerSlam 2022 Build-A-Figure Dominic Mysterio Wave. Had a ton of fun with the review. I think that these figures are fantastic. I don't think they're perfect by any means. I do have my gripes here and there that we covered in this video. I think that Orton's trunks are not completely accurate with the color. I think they could have been a bit more peachy. I think the Rey Mysterio head sculpt could have done better if we got a different one. Torso a little bit loose. Shawn Michaels I think is fantastic. I think his arms are a tad loose, but you know, it is what it is. Maybe this will be the end of the basic 100 head sculpt. I'm really, I'm looking forward to getting a new Shawn head, even though it does look the best here. I think this is the best version of that head. I think it looks really good here. Like, the paint apps look good. The 5 o'clock shadow looks nice. Sensational Sherry's figure is the most underrated in the set. Holy hell, dude. That sculpt is fantastic and it's a very fun figure to pose around. I think you guys are going to really enjoy that one. And the Dominic Mysterio is a great piece. Oh my goodness. But if you guys would like to grab this wave, go Order Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. Get in on all the fantastic deals over there. Cash in your money in the bank briefcase. Take advantage of the sales. But I think this set's a banger and you definitely need to grab it. I actually have another Sean and Randy Orton on the way. Loose. So I am going to be doing some surgery on these guys, of course. But that is going to wrap it up for my review, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Let's get into our random shout-out. And this shout-out's going to go to Mott, who says, So happy about the Jake the Snake. That's my most wanted Jake. That's what attire I think of when I think of Jake the Snake. He 
he's referring to our video yesterday guys if you guys missed our greatest hits elite series news definitely go check that video out from yesterday we revealed the exact attires and forms of what the new greatest hits elite series that is coming soon will be so definitely go check that out but a huge shout out to mod for the comment thank you guys so very much if you guys would like a future shout out in a video comment and leave a like and subscribe to the channel man and you could earn yourself a shout out at the end of a my damn toys video but thank you for watching subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys next time have a blessed day and i'll see you guys in the next video you cross the line i've been